Hello, um, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to configure a iOS IPsec tunnel point-to-point -point using Ike version 1 but instead of using the pre-shared key that we've usually done uh, I'm going to use a self-signed certificate. So this is our topology and we're going to create an IPsec tunnel between R1 and R3. Uh, R5 is just our ISP router so 10.1.1.0 will be able to communicate with 10.3.3.0 um, using IPsec and a self-signed certificate. So uh, we'll start on R1. First of all, let's get the tunnels up first using GRE. Um, IP address 172.16.0.1 Tunnel source would be our WAN interface. Tunnel destination would be R3, which will be 35.0.0.2. Uh, let's do some routing as well. Let's see the LAN. Uh, what am I missing there? Okay, now let's go to R3. So net 172.16.0.0. Uh, the neighbor Jason C has just come up. So we should be able to ping the other side. Uh, ping 10.1.1.0. One source is the LAN. Yep, okay. So show INT tan 0. Uh, so this is currently a GRE over IP. Okay, so now that we got the tunnel up, let's do the IPsec portion. Uh, so usual, we'll define a a phase one policy and a phase two policy using the Ike version one. Uh, let's do the hash MD5. The authentication type would be the RSA. SIG. Let's do the group, which is five. Lifetime will set as that, and the encryption will set as that. Um, we'll do the IPsec policy. Uh, crypto IPsec uh, transform. We'll call this T form. ESP MD5, ESP AES 192, and we need to do the IPsec profile. Okay, and let's do the certificate. For that we need a domain name. Call this gas.net. And now we need to create the private public key pair. Generate uh, RSA modulus modulus one zero two four. Excellent need that and we'll also need crypto key my pub key RSA okay and that is what we need we need all that and we'll do the same over here crypto key generate 
RSA modulus modulus one zero two four need that and we'll need key uh no, show crypto key my pub key Okay, and we'll also need that. So we need to put this in R1 and the opposite for R3. So how do we do that? Well, that's quite simple. We'll go back into config mode. We'll go crypto key. Uh, my uh, pub key chain RSA. Enter the address. We need the address of the other side, which is this. Need the key string, and we will paste all this in. Type quit, exit, exit. And we'll do the same with the other side. The crypto key, pub key, RSA. Address key we will need is this key string. We should take this and we shall put it in here. Type quit, exit, exit, and all we need to do now is apply the IPsec profile to the tunnel interface. profile and this is IPsec dash profile um, int turn zero tunnel protection IPsec profile IPsec dash profile Oh, I haven't done it. Oh, I haven't done it on this side yet. Okay. To show run dash s crypto. I don't know why it's saying that no pre uh, pre no pre shed key. We're not using pre shed key. Anyway, the neighbor adjacency is up. Um, let's see if we can ping the other side. Yes, we can. Show crypto isocad sa so that's okay show crypto ipsec sa these are roughly th these are the same so that's good um show int turn zero so we're still using gre here uh so this side will be basically the same Here it says we're using the RSA signatures, which is good. And one final thing is that it'll change this into an IPsec tunnel. Uh, so if you notice, show int tunnel zero. This is a the tunnel is a GRE tunnel. Uh, so to change it, we we'll just do tunnel. IP set no tunnel mode IP sec IP V four new 
adjacency. Make sure we can still ping. Yes. And let's have a look at the internal interface. Yeah, so tunneling protocol is now IPsec over IP. And the same here as well. <coughs> and we can successfully ping. We're using the self signed certificate, and I think that will be about it for today. Thank you for watching.